black supremacies Natia Sisia joined the website www.kingnobleuncensored.com while some of you are worried about black people wanting to leave the hood turning their back on the hood talking down on the hood you have some black people who see you all the same right and are willing to leave the country to get away from all of you they don't care anymore about you know us being the native indigenous indians or autonomous people of north america or well in this case it would be central america and they're like you know what to hell with it all trump's is o- trump's in office and they're going to leave all the niglets behind that they see because they, they they don't care if you're in hollywood they don't care if you're where you at they're saying they're turning their back on all of you and run into canada run into south america run into africa they see all of america as the hood and they're not going over there they're not leaving the country to go and join any militant organizations or to prepare no underground railroad to save you or to help you out or to extend some type of support system back here they're going to go and sit up with some Carthagians or some Kardashians or some Canadians too. So while a lot of black people in the conscious community is bickering over who should leave and who shouldn't leave and how we should perceive those who leave, there are some who are leaving all y'all asses behind to suffer, to deal with what's about to come down the pipelines while you are all disunified. They don't care. You've given them no reason to stay. The conscious community has given conscious, conscious black people no reason to stay. Don't you find that interesting? That even conscious black people want to get away from conscious black people? They can't unite. They can't come, they can't, they're not about to unite with you and your black business is not saving them. But what I really want to know is whether you're leaving the country or whether you're leaving the hood, how long do you really think that you're going to have until you have the same problem that the white man has, the same fear that he has, since you're already scared? That's why you're leaving. How long do you think it's going to take until you are afraid of these same black people that you're leaving behind, that you're calling neglets. How long do you think you, you're gonna have until they're knocking on your door? Until they're trying to rob your house? Don't think that Hollywood is gonna save you. Don't think the suburbs are gonna save you. Don't think some farmland, don't think some land you bought in another country is gonna save you. Niggas are everywhere. <laughs> I don't know why people don't understand this. Niggas is everywhere. Don't think you're running to Canada because it's less racism. There's racism in Canada. The only difference is are the the only the only thing is is that black people they're not they don't necessarily put up with that shit. They're they're with white people every day all day, but white people know don't utter that word. Don't play that game. You you don't have no white people up in Canada talking about Nicholas Nicholas. That that I've heard that from a white supremacist. So when I hear it amongst my own, I, I don't get it. But black people up in Canada, they're unified against white supremacy out there. Out here, I don't know. South America, they're unified against white supremacy in South America. Out here, I don't know. But how long do you think you're going to have in your nice, middle class, bougie house, wherever, that you, you ran away from Negroes before, before some Negroes knocking? I mean, wouldn't you do the same thing? 
in that you you know we come on if it really goes down in the hood everybody know to go to the sub everybody know if you ain't no food no water everybody knows and chances are you're going to be on the outskirts of the the real suburbs So how long before it's a it's a black person just like you knocking on your door? And I had this conversation with somebody before, and you know it didn't it didn't end well. But my point was that if you are not staying in your community, <clears throat> or even if you leave and you're not really giving back, if you're scamming and you call in the people from your community, this and that, you're not doing anything to uplift them anymore because you're so woke that you, you know, you elevated about the community into some other community. You know, you didn't elevate up off the planet, though. How, you know, is if you're not doing anything to really give back on a meaningful level. How long do you, you know, you really think before they're knocking on your door? Right. And now you got a gun in your hand aimed at what you deem is a nigglet. But the minute you pull that trigger, who's who's the nigglet now? What's the difference? Do you think when the police come, the police is going to say, well, you know, you're a homeowner and, you know, it's all the same. They don't care. That, that's two two nigglets down in their eyes. So we got to really think about what it is we're doing, what it is we're saying, the movements we're making, the time we are in. Because now is not the time to be turning our backs on each other and calling each other all type of names. You know, it's, it's, now is the time when that person that you think is just hood and just no good might be useful. <laughs> A video. Ah! Black Supremacy, join the website, www.kinobuncensor.com.